Yeah, the game pricing pisses me off. Is it $6 is standard price in America? Which, by the way, I think that's too much money anyway, but, but whatever. Apparently that's standard. It is sixty dollars, not sixty pounds. And sixty pounds, and sixty dollars is about fifty pounds, but that's still not what you price a game at. Like the what? Like this is getting less and less common, luckily, since especially since Steam like started offering like auto conversions to people who don't fucking know the difference. But very often, like early on, with Steam, say early on, this is this was happening upwards of like just a handful of years ago. Uh, you would have those people who would publish a game on Steam, convert the price to euros, and then directly like one to one the euro to the to the pound so if it was 27 euros it'd be 27 pounds that does not work at all like not even a bit so you get these games that would be priced at like 27 euros and they'd come out to like 27 pounds and i'm like no <laughs> That's not how that works. The price point you are looking for is 20. In fact, the price point you're looking for is actually probably 18, but still. $60 for AA, $50 for a smaller publisher. For See, it generally goes that way for the UK, but like start at 50. Like, start at 50, sure, but I also tend to expect digital- like, I have completely the wrong idea about this, because I- I was under the fucking assumption, because Steam does this. At least when, you know, most Steam games do this, at least. But I was under the fucking astounding assumption that digital would probably be cheaper, because there's no box. This is almost always wrong. Because, like, physical games have proven, uh, cheaper pretty much 100% of the time on all the consoles. This is a console thing. Generally, I say that, my physical copy of Resident Evil 7 for PC was like £20 new when it came out. Whereas a digital copy of that game is full price. I got it for cheap, because for some reason the, the discs were cheaper. Whereas on the Switch, every fucking game, every game, all of them, is significantly more expensive on the digital shop, with the exception of Octopath, which for some reason was a five or more for the physical copy, so I didn't get it. And it was still 50 quid, which is a lot of money. That being said, Octopath, quite good. Quite good so far. So I like I sought out like used copies of Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, and I ended up paying like I think 30, 40 for each, which is still expensive. But the digital for both of those games, the digital for Odyssey was 50. I think. Maybe it was 55 even, I don't remember. Breath of the Wild was more for some reason. I don't know why Breath of the Wild is priced higher than Odyssey, but it is. On the UK eShop. But it's not like I, like... I know this is just a stupid Nintendo thing as well. Like, I know this is just an asshole Nintendo thing. Because fucking, like, any indie game is priced perfectly fine on the Switch. Like, normal prices. They For some reason, they sometimes have, like, a £5 price. Like, I think actually only Sonic Mania Plus did that. I think it's only Plus that did that shit. But, like, Freedom Planet released on the Switch recently. It's priced at, like, £12. That's correct. That's the right price. In fact, it's actually slightly cheap. It's like 15 bucks, I think, 12 Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's fine. Like, that's, that's the right price. Messenger came out on the Switch recently. It's 18 pounds on the eShop. That's correct. Because it's 17 pounds point, like, five on Steam. I don't give a shit about the 50 pence. point is that they're very often like, like if when indies do it, they tend to price correctly. Or at least consistently. 
whereas bigger publishers charge more for Switch releases for reasons I don't understand. <laughs> like, Mania Plus is five pounds more on the eShop, fucking... And five pounds is, like, not five dollars either. That's, like, a... The jump is, is much steeper with the pound. This is, this, to be fair to Nintendo at least, right, this is just sort of a general digital storefront thing. It's like, I, you would really expect that the savings will be passed onto the consumer when you do the whole digital thing. And, uh, nope, they fucking absolutely are not. If anything, it's actually worse. Yeah, don't forget to, you don't get the key, you interact with the key. If you don't trigger it, it doesn't work. That's kind of the other thing about Silent Hill 2 speedrunning, is that you have to do a bunch of obtuse trigger hunting right out of the gate. Excuse me while I scroll my notes back up. And see that? You gotta you gotta do that cutscene. Because then Laura kicks your fucking hand, and James is like, ow. But why though? And Laura's like, ha! Nerd. And you're like, oh. And that's it, that's the scene. Hope you liked the scene, everyone. Do you wanna, do you wanna use the door? Or just wanna look at it? It's amazing right now. I know, right? I'm so good at this. Fuck. Too sharp. That's not even my dog. That's a picture of the developer of Freedom Planet's dog. Sammy is a good dog. It has been decided that it is a good dog. Can't save. Whack. <sniffs> Moving so fine, the camera cannot keep up. It's cool how as your movement gradually gets better, it gets increasingly harder to do because you can't see. I think that's very groovy. And in fairness again, that's a PC port thing. Doesn't happen on console. These are the slowest menus of my life.
always bonk the railing. Why are you... Uh... James wouldn't stop being left side by us there. He wouldn't fucking do it. Could not stop, would not stop. No, go. Wow. Hurrah, we did it. Where's the mouse? <laughs> Fucking auto aim is a sin. Should not exist for any fucking reason, dude. Did not turn when turn was pressed. As I live in a weird hellscape. Okay, good. Can't save! Everything is ruined! Mm. This bit looks like it'll be quite good. Almost as if practice works. It's weird. Okay, maybe I am just using shit tons of time to movement. That's entirely possible now, knowing that. I guess that was Blue Creek as well. That wasn't even Fire Escape. That was just Blue Creek movement. Hey, Shining. I'm sitting here like hunched over the fucking microphone and keyboard. Okay, see that this? Comfy gaming. Not comfy gaming. Comfy gaming. Not comfy gaming. Unfortunately, I need to get, like, more in.
find the lake you're looking for? What's your name? Mary? No idea how to do that without slowing down. Oh. What? I paused the game during a cutscene. What? Everything is dirty, Chrono Cross, so it's very... It's whack, man. Dude, I split. Good. And James refuses to move in the straight line. I held down. He did that. Shifting a lot. Tripologia. Tripologia. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. 4944. Mario, please. Fuck. Wrong way. Nice 360. 4944. 4944. 8591? I think so. Could be 8599. There's Fuck on, man. If this was normal mode, I'd be dead, by the way. So I don't want normal mode. Hey, Abby. Excuse me while I scroll my splits. I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes.
Yeah, cool. Camera. Silent Hill 2 speedruns, my dude. Oh, fuck. I botched the last turn because I actually got through it faster than I thought I did. <laughs> I was like, there's one more turn before this. Nope. Mistaken. Ugh, that turn is impossible bullshit. James does not move in the direction you push the stick. He does a vague approximation of where you push the stick. Hi, P. That's going all right. I'm doing speedruns again, which is crazy. It's been years since there were speedruns on this channel. And by years, I mean uh, approximately three days. Maria, get the fuck out of the way. Unbelievable. You know, I know, right? Silent like Hill runs are, like, so comfy, people, like, fall asleep to them. Like, it's totally serious. It's just, they're really good, like, before bed runs, because they're so fucking melancholy. I have no idea if mashing quick save here does anything. I gotta remember, you gotta actually, you gotta actually mash, like, game saved pretty quickly. Because when you're on, when you're low in health, right, you have basically no stamina. Which, you know, like, the infinite stamina trick is still useful for that, but you have to refill it constantly because you basically have none. Because anytime I'm pressing quick save, right, if you're wondering why I'm mashing quick save all the time and saving the game, it is because anytime text is drawn to the screen in any capacity, uh, it refills your stamina. This is a... Uh, like a hard-coded thing with the stamina system. But the PC port having the ability to quick save, which makes the game save prompt appear on the screen, still activates that routine. Whereas normally it's like reserved for item pickups or... Well, you can exploit it on the console version with the, uh, the text where it tells you that it's too dark to read the map. That still works. That's also an option. But stamina max correlates with health, and I have zero health right now, so... 
So like, I need to carry this, it's too dark to read the map text through here in order to bypass an event trigger. Because we skipped getting the plank and the radio at the start, but that like whole event sequence trigger, it's still fucking there, even when you come back through here at night. So you gotta find another trigger to hold. Game fucked up. Good. I don't know what it is about that camera angle change, but it doesn't work properly. Even if I hold the same direction, it like pivots anyway. Now I'm back through that and whatever the fuck, so now I can actually can have my light back now. Downpour makes me sleepy. Unfortunately, uh, I fell asleep while playing it, so that's that's no good. So hello, Stefan. Stefan. I flip-flop on the pronunciation quite frequently. I don't know how to pronounce anyone's name. Dude, I did like a Celeste showcase commentary thing, which by the way was fucking amazing. Like, that showcase was absolutely fire. And I kept fucking pronouncing M. Sushi's name as Mushi. I just kept doing it, like, constantly. I couldn't stop. Even when I was like, I don't know what to call him anymore. I was, uh, I was like flopping between Mushi, Sushi, and Musu and M Sushi, and it was just like, what the fuck am I doing? Pick a fucking name, dude. Sorry, you can't stop. You're a uni student now. No, that's fair. I've been there, man. Buy your packs of instant ramen and your. Your porridge. Uh, that might be a British thing. <laughs> I mean, porridge is not British, but you know, like, staple student food, not, perhaps. Get you get you the food. You don't gotta spend it on me. I, don't fuck, I got a job. I don't need that shit. It's nice, but I don't need it. My, my cost of living is very much taken care of. The, the... Sub money goes to fun things, like... Some money goes to fun things like equipment and travel and shit like that. Which is nice, but it's not necessary. Uni students, uni students need the cash more than I do. Because uni students are all fucking broke. So I didn't even finish university, like, I knew I was gonna drop out at the end of my second year, because I just, I hated it. Hated it. Uni sucked. But, uh, I kind of knew I was dropping out, like, halfway through, so I used the back half of my student loan to go to ESA 16. And that has proven to be a far more fruitful line of, uh, of investment than anything my uni fees ever went to. So in hindsight, I think I actually made a good choice, strangely enough. Because God knows my fucking uni education went nowhere. I hated it, it sucked, and I don't really remember much of it. Learned much about life from that experience, you could say that. But I also learned how fucking awful roommates can be. Hello, split. How did I save eight seconds? That's whack.
Hi, Philippe. Good night, Philippe. I'm trusting my instincts. My instincts are wrong. Fuck. What? I can't have been that far off. Fuck this game. The one time I trust my instincts, it whiffs. Do you need to examine it before it counts? No, no, you don't. You don't. You don't. No way. I'm bad. Seems like the one thing I'm fucking up a lot is the uh, is this section. Oh, wrong way. Fuck. Almost missed the plate. That would have been really good. Good enough, I guess. Everyone's going to bed, apparently. <laughs> Can't tell if they're joking or not, but if you're going to bed, good night, Quiz. I actually got the wax doll first try this time. Fucking amazing, wow. I lost so much goddamn time there on my last run, that was crazy. You should go to bed. No, you should stay up. And watch Silent Hill. That was fucking good movement, by the way. Hell, I hit that door before it was even on the screen. Thrilling. I'm out. You should go to bed. You should get dressed for uni. All of you. Oh, fuck. I did it again. I'm ahead. I'm one room ahead of where I think I am. That's a dumb mistake. I shouldn't do that. Ah, see, P is ahead of the game. P is no slacker. Second bedroom, P. I'm jealous, dude. That's kind of the next major investment I want to make, actually, is, like, getting another computer. Not, like, another computer, but, like... Basically, I need another computer, but, like, that's... A, I want to get an upgrade to my existing one, but all the components in this one are... Like, I would need a new motherboard. That would entail basically replacing everything else, so... Basically, another computer. Like, it's not necessarily that I need two, it's just that I need to- I want to get so many- I say I don't need to get more things, but like, the case is kind of bad, so I might as well replace that. The motherboard is bad, which means I need to replace pretty much every other component that goes with it. And while I'm doing all of that, I may as well just get another fucking computer. Because this- this computer, despite the fact it gets, like, actually surprisingly good mileage out of a- uh, out of newer games because it's got a decent enough graphics card in it. The CPU is pretty shit and the motherboard is so old it doesn't really support uh, much in the way of the newer shit. So I kind of need to replace that and then I need to replace the CPU and then at that point I may as well just fucking go ahead and start swapping everything out. That's how it goes, but like the upgrades I want to make are going to cost a lot. It's like, that's why I'm like, I want to go to AGDQ. However, I also want to save money for my computer. So I'm just saving time on everything right now. Can't wait to piss it all away towards the end of the game. That'll be fabulous. Don't get hung up on the non-existent corner, that's whack. Dude. 
What is he doing? I'm holding left. I do not understand this game. What are you doing? Fuck you. What is he doing? Use ladders, man. Jesus Christ. He's going to attack me. He did not. Fitting. Swindling. God damn it, this is bad RNG again. Arson is the third one. Yeah, still not good. Also, checking things is impossible still. Did I saw the enhanced edition for Silent Hill 2? Uh, yeah. One of the speedrunners works on it, actually. Big Man Japan, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's involved with that. He's involved in the widescreen fix that everyone uses. Except for speedrunners, because we can't. <laughs> Still not particularly good arsonist RNG. It's a cool project, but oh, the game has failed. Thanks for wasting my time, game. It's a cool project, but like, I can't use it for runs. Mods are not allowed in speedrunning. Alas. Since these, these mods have been known to make the game, like, behave in ways it's not supposed to, as in it makes it work, which is unfortunate, because it's not supposed to. Fuck you, game. Two with items. Yeah, it's really context sensitive. It's probably actually the worst game in the series for that. Because I was right on that shit, and it did not count, because fuck you. I don't- I really don't understand what fucking Silent Hill's problem is with having item hitboxes be, like, reasonable, but they have a serious problem with it. It's like, there is nothing else in this entire goddamn room that I could possibly want to interact with. Why have you made it so small? You confusing weirdos. What's too soon? Wow! Gold! Except there was no split there, so... I thought that might have been a bit too far to the right. I disagree. That's fine, I can adjust. Ninja, thank you for the sub. The five month sub. Wow we hey, for those of you who don't know, if you have an existing sub, you can continue the sub through the month of September. September for one dollar. I'll probably make that a bot command at some point this month. Like a bot auto post thing, so I don't have to keep saying it. It's like when Twitch Prime first came out. Twitch Prime is a Twitch subscription service thing where you can use one free sub a month to your favorite streamer. As in me. Like everyone was doing that for like when Twitch Prime first came out. I did not split because I'm dumb.
So if you're sub broken, you don't get the thing, because you shouldn't have unsubbed, you ungrateful bastards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't even bring myself to, like, say that with a straight face. Fuck. I can't tell where I'm going. I, like, cracked up halfway through, like, shilling myself. I can't do it. Why? The camera angle fucking 180s after you pick up the key. What kind of fucking dick-ass bullshit is this? I can't do it. I can't show, like, wholeheartedly. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you okay there, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm going the wrong way. I'm, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm so done. The whole thing did something really fucking weird. See, this hitbox is really forgiving. Where you can use the solvent. Oh, wrong fuck. Uh, I held up. Shit. What? I held right and he did that. What the fuck, game? That menu was sloppy. Hello? Sloppy. Actually, while the game does that, let me just scroll. Sloppy. Why? Why do you not just pick the thing up? Well, there's apples around here. Look at these fucking apples. I don't give a shit. James, you're ruining my life. Later, Ed. Fuck me, dude. I oh, I did it again. Fuck me. Ah! This movement sucks ass. I need to practice that section. Like, this fucking room specifically needs practice. Because I keep making an absolute gigantic fucking mess of it. This game should have fixed camera angles. It... It accommodates the 3D movement control scheme a lot better than the 2D one, which is the gate, like, the movement controls it's fucking designed around. But it includes alternate control schemes for all the smooth brains in the universe who can't fucking do tank controls. Which, unfortunately, is a lot of them, despite the fact it, like, completely bulldozes the original fucking design. Nevertheless, I didn't think that would work. I tried it anyway. <laughs> hey then. Miss Arachna. Yeah, I'm doing alright at this one. 
Although this split is probably going to be shit. As I have choked a number of really, really simple things in this one. For no particular reason other than just I'm not very good at this game yet. Uh, I do beginner normal. Like, normal puzzle difficulty is actually slightly faster, despite that being really weird. Can't see the fucking door. That's so annoying. God, kill me. That might work. Okay, made up for it with a good videotape. Did not make up for it by getting stuck on the motherfucking... Ugh, that camera angle. That feel. The feels. So I'm doing some things well, I'm doing something significantly worse. Dude, I could have converted this into a sick dog ending time if I'd actually picked up the dog key. Hello. Use the thing. Fuck my ass. Don't you. You almost wasted a bullet doing that shit. Lucia, thank you for the raid, man. Later, Glackham. Ugh, I stole. Almost a second. Watch this shit crash. None for you. That's okay. Now hold that. Four shot is not ideal, but whatever. <sighs> Harry. You're not Harry, you're James. I also accidentally unequipped my fucking gun there. Say so it ain't it ain't PB yet, my dude. Especially not if I don't do things like actually cancel the fucking doors. Harry James Mason. I'm making dumb mistakes as well, tells you. I make a lot of dumb mistakes. But this pace is pretty good. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, Even when you're James, I you're still a Harry. <laughs> I like that. I don't want any damn Everyone is Mason, regardless of whether or not they want to be. Mary, what are you saying? Hello, ADHD otaku. Ugh, stumble a bit. The strafe movement here is harder than it looks, mostly because the camera totally works against you. Well, that wasn't great. Stop every time with the grab, man. Jeez. Give me that fucking forty one. Hold that 